Greetings, everyone. We are finally out of the Cosette region, and we are back at the Franway. However, we actually want to head on over to the Geo Club side, because we now have enough Geo tickets to buy that Geo suit. I'm sorry, Geo jacket. A Geo jacket, perhaps the strongest and most beautiful armor this whole kingdom over. This one can be exchanged for a whopping six Geo tickets. Yes, we want this. Congratulations, you're the first one in a long time to earn the Geo Jacket. I'm so jealous. Enjoy your prize. We obtained the Geo Jacket. Created through a secret process, the Geo Jacket's protective fibers are light and ensure a high level of defense. Press start to equip it. With the Geo Jacket equipped, damage against Gale will be reduced by three damage points. Well, let's go ahead and equip it. And enjoy Gale now being a redhead in red armor. Oh, I'm sorry, you've already claimed this item. We have a strict limit, one per member policy. So yeah, as a note, that right there I showed just to point out that we can't get endless ones of these once we have enough tickets. With that, however, we're now actually going to head on over to Moonlight Ravine because there are actually a handful of things that we can do over there. Now that we're on the Atai side of Moonlight Ravine, we need to head on over to the docks because we have some friends here. It's the Troubadours. Hey, it's our number one fan. It must be destiny that we meet again. I'm afraid you found us in another bit of a rough spot. We were charged much more than expected to repair our instruments. And now we can't afford the ferry to cross. We'd earn our way right here with music, but we've been told to be quiet by the locals. Cheer up, you guys. What do I always say? With the power of love and friendship, and a little donation of 40 rin, we will persevere. Yeah, we'll donate 40 rin for their ferry rides. R really? You're going to help us again? I'm so encouraged by how much you believe in us. We doubly shan't forget this. Let's hit it. Is what I'd say if the locals wouldn't get angry with us. Well, let's talk to them individually. Hiya, toots. Is it me, or has this accordion fella been looking at me funny? You think he's challenging me to a fight? I'll stare him down with my eyes of intimidation. Thanks so much for helping us. This place is so beautiful. To think I'll get to ride through it with Cobet. Or Cobete, I think, actually. Life truly is an adventure. <laughs> Do I take... Do I detect a little chemistry between Alto and Kobete? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Double. Dare! Day! Doesn't this place remind you of how we first met? I don't remember anything about where we met. Because I only had eyes on you. Aw, oh, honey. Yeah, so they're nice and cute. And we've helped them, so they will now be in the Day region. So, we'll keep an eye out once we're there next time. Our next stop here, however, is with the couple that were on a date in the middle of the uh, ravine water area. Oh, we now have this guy's ring, so... Listen, I need your help again. Get me something my girlfriend would like. Maybe a piece of jewelry or something. Girls like that, right? Wait, that ring. It's perfect. Can I have it? Yeah, you can have this pearl ring. Thank you. Here you go, honey. Surprise. <gasps> yes. Yes, I will. I will. Haha. <laughs> You'll what? Hmm? Uh, I'm glad you like it. <sighs> Grace is averted. Uh, I think. Thank you for going through all that trouble. Let me reward you. I have on me some money. You gave us 30 rin, so, you know, three-fourths of what we gave the troop doors back. That's probably not enough, which is why I also, which is why I'll also give you this very special moonlight perfume bottle. My family has brewed this special formula for several generations. I've thought to mass produce it and sell it, but my grandmother insists it stay in the family. You'll find that in addition to smelling wonderful, it also functions as a great bug repellent. That's kind of weird for a perfume, but okay. I guess it maybe makes sense. Thank you again for the ring. My girlfriend really likes it. 
I'd have given her the moon moonlight perf perfume, but she hates it when I give her the same thing twice. I learned that after the third time. Wow, this ring looks so beautiful. It looks like it came from far away. I guess he really, really like, really, really likes me. My parents said my boyfriend would never step up. He, how wrong they were. No, no, they were kind of correct. Also, I missed this last time we were here. There's a glowing pot up there. And if I could aim better, it has a moonstone, which... All right. Really? There we go. Thankfully, moonstones have collision physics. And thus, we can get that moonstone. Speaking of moonstones, let's go catch that fish on the other side of the ravine. All right, let's see if I can get this first try. Which means I'm gonna fail. Six! I think that was just enough. Nope. Nope. All right, that doesn't count as first try. Uh, let's give it second try. Really? All right. One, two, three, go. There we go. At least it's in here. Wrong fish! Whatever. Fish fillet. Now let's get the correct fish. One, two, three... Four is too long. There we go. That should have a little bit more stamina. And stop. Oh, come on. It's got to be close enough. To there we go. He sees it. He sees it. He bites. And we've got more than enough stamina this time. And we finally get the moonstone he has. So that makes two moonstones. Now, let's head on back to the Franway, and we'll head over to Dea from there. And by head over to Dea, I mean, actually, we're going to go up north here first. Because, uh, there's something in this fountain that we want to deal with, actually. <laughs> ah, it's you, my savior from that dreaded Arbor cell. Remember Gasper? We saved him. How fares thee this day? It's... I still make my business to explore ancient ruins and artifacts. My intuition tells me there's something here. Notice anything odd about these statues? According to my history books, the Ouroboros didn't always use the Sand Drake as their insignia. In fact, it used to be a griffin. Makes you wonder what one's doing here, doesn't it? Well, that's our hint. To play the Ouroboros, Ouroboros song. Amazing! The engineering capabilities of the Ouroboros were quite advanced, weren't they? I'll hold off on going in, however. With Ouroboros, you never know what dangers you'll find. That's not going to stop us, however. And it's time for us to do the fourth Ouroboros Shrine. This one is a, uh, time switch puzzle. Each of these will last a different amount of time, so you kind of have to go around and hit them in the correct order. Which... Uh... I failed because I wasn't looking the right way. Let's actually get this this time. There we go. Once all of them are spinning at one point, the door opens and stays open. Thankfully. But they are going to get a little bit more complicated from here on out. We've got five switches here, which we hit this one and this one. If you notice, they only last about the same amount of time. So, we're going to drop a bomb, jump up and hit the one over there. This one, bomb explodes, and we got them all. This one, I'm just going to tell you outright, they all last a very short time, and it's about the same amount of time. It is that. You've got that long to get all of them. So, the idea is you're going to need to... Ah, oh, I missed 
you probably could tell from there what the idea is that you need to do. Get over here, shoot, hit, and then we actually have it. Now to the fourth room, which holds our fourth Ouroboros scroll. We could now go learn two techniques, but we need a spear to learn the first one. So we're just going to hop on out. Let's see if Gasper is still here to say anything new. Nope, looks like uh, Gaspar has uh, left. Which I guess makes some sense. He saw us go in, but he didn't want to go in himself. Well, next we will not actually go into Dea. We're going to head over to Astrid's. We have a lunar, a lunar comb that uh, I want out of my inventory. And I want money for it. Oh, hey! Also, Gasper's here. You again? What a coincidence! This is, in fact, my place of work. It's my home base when I'm not out investigating. On the right is my colleague, Astrid. She's an interesting sort. Abrasive at first, but get to know her, and you'll come to understand just how deep that runs. I heard you two have met. Please continue to help us in our search for the lunar artifacts. Eh, uh, there's a lot of stuff to sort through. Perhaps it's time for another trip. What makes something an artifact and what makes it not? Well, first, it needs to be old. Time lets us examine something with more objectivity. We can better see if it was influential to the host society, or just a fad. Second, context. An alien species looking into us might think a book is important. But to us, they're common everyday items. The content of the book might make it important. So, really, it's in the eye of the beholder. Which brings me to the last point. Salesmanship. Most people wouldn't care for these artifacts if they had encountered it in a mundane setting. But because we prop them up and imbue them with significance, they become desired. I suppose that's why I team up with Astrid. She's got an eye for business, I do not. Speaking of, hey Astrid! We've got a comb. Ah, oh, an antique comb. I'd run this through my hair, but I don't want to ruin the comb. Fun fact, my hair has a rating of 7 on the hardness scale. Now, where did you say you found this? Below an old house on the way to Cosette. Huh. I suppose that... I suppose... Nah. I suspect this comb may date back to Cosette's previous era. The Prosperity Era, they called it. Cosette was a lively place then, densely packed with use, dancing, and laughter. Then, a plague-begotten famine changed Cosette forever. Perhaps this comb was once treasured treasured by a young lass. She was filled with hopes and dreams. It was a gift from her betrothed. He promised to return from his expedition. Alas, the plague had other plans. Oh, the tragedy! So, can I take this one off your hand for 40 Rin? Yes, you may. Excellent. I'll hand you your money now. Please continue to bring me any more artifacts you find. Well, we have brought her six. We don't get anything new yet, because you get new stuff every four artifacts. Well, with that, we will finally, actually, enter Dea City. Enjoy the city of windmills. Hello, welcome to Dea, home of the most scrumptious pastries. Dea also has the name Fountain Ma Mountain. No doubt you can see why. There's a lot of fountains, though the mountain part is debatable. Most of the fountains even have their own special myth or legend. Would you like to hear the legend about this one right here? Yes, actually I would. This one is commonly known as the Gate Fountain because it's situated next to the city's gate. But there's a lesser known name that it bears, the King's Mouth. The legend goes that the first king of Dea had a huge emerald collection, and that when he died, he was buried with his emeralds. However, this was actually contrary to his wishes. He really wanted the pe he really wanted people to enjoy his emeralds. And so, legend goes that you visit a king's visit a king's fountain and deposit five rin, and then you visit the king's mouth and deposit five rin. From the king's mouth, out spews an emerald. Why five rin and five rin? Because he was 55 years old when he passed. 
So, what do you think of that story? Pretty cool, right? Deus Fountains have always interested me. If you'd like to learn more about Deus Fountains, there's plenty of resources in the library. Well, eventually we'll have to head to that library. Hello, fellow, fellow country cousin. Are you new to the city? Don't worry. That people are really kind and welcoming. I'll be the first in my family to go to university. I hope I'm smart enough. I'm sure he'll do fine. Many castle guards have been acting strange. They're more stilted, and they talk less... And they talk less. When they do talk, they talk like this. Weird, right? Also, sorry for the chair squeak there. Hello. Upstairs. Talk to my apprentice. That's why I hired him. All right, well, let's go talk to the apprentice. Don't mind my master. He's only gruff on the outside. Let me know if anything here catches your eye. We got plenty of defensive gear. I'm quite lucky to have gotten this apprenticeship. The master must have seen some potential in me. And, of course, he then just loops. Well, the first thing I want is this bat. You're looking at a very strong and powerful steel bat. And I'm no fighter, but if I were, I'd buy this. Well, we will buy the steel bat for 300 rand. Great. Half swinging. You obtained the steel bat. It's completely male construction ensures it will never falter in the heat of battle. Well, let's just immediately equip our red bat to go with our red hair and our red coat. We also have, uh, here, Master spent hours skillfully riveting the protective chain together for that Jade Hawbrick. It's great defensive gear. Well, we're not going to pick it up. I said no. Because we now have this. We will eventually come back here and pick it up because we need it for an achievement. But that'll be later. If you plan to explore dark areas, the crank lamp is practically a necessity. Well, yeah, let's go ahead and buy the crank lamp. I know we already have the cracked one. However, this this crank lap lamp is still better. And also, I kind of want to run out of money because I want to be able to deal with the other shops of, hey, we give you a service for free. And I need to spend money so that I can get those free services. Because one of them is in Dea City, and the other one is back in Moonlight Ravine. Huh. Turn right at the 29th windmill and walk tangent to it for 149 paces. Wow, these are terrible directions. Well, it's settled. I'll be late. Unfortunate. She will be late for whatever meeting she's at. <gasps> Kitty! Ah! I missed twice, but I did eventually pet the cat. Drat! With the bridge in the state that it's in, I'm not able to eat my fill of delectable drake tails. Oh, the things I'd give for a bundle of three drake tails. 60 ren. That's what I'd give. Well, we don't have drake tails, unfortunately. But if you need money, you can bring her drake tails to get 60 ren to help pay for the armor or weapon. I thought living next to a student dorm would be troublesome. Noisy and rowdy neighbors, student pranks, that kind of thing. It's actually been pleasant. These students must really be serious. Perhaps it is me who should apologize for my noisy old mother. She can ramble on and on, and she's had a very interesting life, it seems. Well, you know what? Let's go talk to your uh, mother, who's in a rocking chair. I remember way back in the summer of 187, there's hardly a day's rest for anyone. Because it was hot, I was a young lass at the time, and Dea had just come into prominence. That was marked with the hottest temperatures on record. We started diving into the fountains to cool off. The guards were supposed to put a stop to it, but even they started taking dips in the fountains. I decided that since I was already in the fountains, I might as well collect the coins the people threw in there. And that's how I saved up enough money to buy my house. God, I wish you could buy money with fountain coin or buy money, buy a house with fountain coins. Back in, back in 179, there's a restaurant named Lunches and Boxing. You could buy a lunch and then watch people box. Papa would take me every weekend. He even joined some of the matches himself. The only thing you'd get if you won was the house special, creamy lobster meat. The restaurant started to take heat for being a bad influence on children, which was rubbish. 
because I had never boxed a fool that didn't deserve boxing. Still, a fool they then later rebranded as something else. The spring of 185 is when it rained cats and dogs. That's just an expression to mean that it rained a lot. I had an umbrella, but I traded it just before the rain season began for a pretty sundress. I had a hunch that it'd be sunny and the rain season wouldn't come. I was wrong. Never trust your hunches. To top it off, the aqua line was also clogged. So even our streets were flooded. Needless to say, I was soaked to the bone. I believe that that was also the time the local scholars started a task force for maintaining the aqua line. The almost wedding of a day in Prince in 201, exactly one half century ago, was a time of great jubilation. My house was among the ones that faced the main street, so we all collectively decorated them for the royal procession. Then, the day of the wedding came, and it turned out the princess had actually ran off the night before with some sea captain. The prince was good sport about it. We still held the celebration, but it became a big cheer-up party. We must drink through half a day's supply of wine in that night alone. Dreadful year of 175 was the year of the dragon. A huge fire dragon flew in and attacked Dea. He had evicted the king and queen, sat upon their throne, and demanded huge piles of gold as tribute. Sand dragons, as you know, like to roll around, wrecking havoc everywhere. Where was I? Oh, right. The ice dragon finally left on its own accord on account of the hot summer. It went from fire dragon to sand to ice. Lunches and boxing again. Here we go. 192 was the year of the famine. Something to do with the wheat blight. So, instead of bread, they rolled out this food gel to complement our diets. It was made from processed gummies, and it tasted really bland, so you had to be creative to make it taste good. It was around that time the peace ministers introduced golems to the wheat far into the wheat farming industry. They said it was to keep an incident like this from ever happening again. But I think they really wanted to cordon off the whole east side of Dea, like we denied some secret. Clearly there is no secret in Coast. There's no secret in Coset. Deary, you've returned. How sweet of you to visit your sweet old granny. I found you another one of those rocks for your collection. Keep it a secret from your sister now. You know how jealous she gets. Yep, so the reason we were listening to all of Granny's stories is she gives us a moonstone. We already pet the kitty, so we can head on out and continue onwards. And by onwards, I mean downwards. Herein lies the day of tunnel. It runneth every way beneath the city and leadeth every which way. I presideth over it, and I grant thee passage. There's no toll. It is free. Well, I'm glad that the this passageway is free. Also, hey, you're in a dojo road. Ahead of you lies Taraka Dojo. You don't want to go in there. Just don't go. Please don't. Hehehe. <laughs> Reverse psychology, baby! Alright, well, let's head on in here then. Dress slovenly and burp off and droop your eyelids to appear sleepy. Create a facade to disarm the opponent. That's Master Taraka's lesson number 21. Make goofy faces and shrill noises to imbalance your foe. Then kick, weak, kick the weak points. That's another Mer Master Taraka classic. Lesson number 24. Mind your phone and gather incriminating information, then post your discoveries on the sit on the city bulletin. Make your foe retreat from embarrassment. Track a lesson number 16. Sleep on rocks and use a wooden plank as a blanket. Toughen your skin against all blows, mental and physical. Track a lesson number seven. My daddy says I need to learn discipline, so here I am. But I think I'm gonna learn the opposite of discipline here. Is Master Tracker really a black belt? All I see him do is eat and burp all the time. Well, clearly this dojo's a scam, isn't it? But, you know what? We've got this that we can beat up. Okay, I'm done beating up on that. Hey, Master Tracker. Do you come seeking the great destructive power? Because you come to the right place. I, Master Tracker, will train anybody. For a fee, that is. 150 rain. Have we got ourselves a deal? Yes, we have ourselves a deal. 
Very good. First, let's see where you're at. Interesting. I sense a great aura and drive within you. Hmm. Oh, how peculiar. You're not a beginner, are you? I don't normally do this, but I think I'll start you with my most advanced course. Anything less would only bore you. Are you ready? Amazing! You already learned my technique! I haven't had a student as promising as you in years. We obtained the Concentration Technique. With Concentrate, Gale's charge attacks will power up twice as fast. Surprise your foes with your ability to quickly summon great strength. Breathe deep and focus fast. By the way, I reward referrals, so keep an eye out for any power needy souls. Master Trocket needs to pay his bills. I'd like to take you on for longer, but I can tell you've got an urgent mission. May the concentration technique aid you on your journey. So, as you saw, it took a little while to charge up when I was being on that. But now, we can just unload with the concentration technique. And they say the same things. With that, however, we will actually end things here. Next time, we will continue to explore Dea City and eventually make our way, hopefully, to Dea Castle. As always, thank you all very much for watching, and take care.